I don't believe that when your mother or father hold you in their arms for the first time, they say, I want you to be an addict. But here I am. Here I am. I'm a, a chef in the kitchen, a cook. I'm thankful for the Union Rescue Mission. And I'm thankful that God has given me a second chance. I really am thankful for that. I grew up in Compton, California. Started hanging out with the wrong crowd. Started smoking pot, and then it moved into smoking uh, crack cocaine. And the next thing you know, became homeless. For the last year and a half of my drug binge, I was living in a tent and on the streets of Los Angeles. When you're on the streets, it's the jungle. It's like living in a jungle. It is insane. Skid Row is the worst it's ever been, by far. Getting worse every day. It's really past the tipping point, and we cannot continue to allow people to suffer the way they're suffering on Skid Row. I was sitting in a camper and it was three o'clock in the morning and we was getting high. I was just kept saying to myself, I can't do this. I just can't do it. But I couldn't stop smoking. I think God said, that's it. I really believe God said, that's it, Phil. You're done. So I got up and at that moment, I said, I need help. And came to the Union Rescue Mission. We know that we're on step eight, which has made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all, right? And that- I don't call it a program. I call it a process. You know, you go through different phases, you know, they teach you about God and then yourself and then others. And I got a chance to really find out what makes me tick and why I've done the things that I did. How have lies and falsehood harmed others or harmed ourselves? Can you give me an example of how that played out? What I learned about God is that, that he's always been there. Even in my darkest hour, he's been there. Our kitchen production is bigger than most restaurants, and this is a, the busiest time of year, Thanksgiving to Christmas. Philip's responsibility will be to prepare nearly 100,000 meals during the holiday season. One of our biggest events coming up is our Thanksgiving meal. Every year, we welcome everybody into our own building for Thanksgiving. This year, we're gonna deep fry five to 700 turkeys. I wanna say about 600 pounds of dressing, green beans, candied yams, pumpkin pie. You know, it's gonna be a full spread. We believe that a meal is one of the best ways to somebody's heart. Giving a meal to somebody, that could be a gateway to them getting their lives straight. That's, that's my hope for everybody. The best part of being a cook is the families when they come in. They see me and they wave and they say, hey chef, how you doing? I just see the smile on their face. It's really cool. Because they don't see an addict. They don't see a guy that smoke crack. They see a chef. That's what they see.